My name is Mike Rayner. I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to install Java on the Eclipse Integrated Development Environment, or Eclipse JDE, on your Ubuntu 10.04 desktop using the Synaptic Package Manager. An IDE is a user interface program that helps programmers write software better and faster. By installing both Java and Eclipse at the same time, Ubuntu will make sure that Java and Eclipse happily work together. After the install, you will see a simple Hello World program to verify that Java and Eclipse are both working. I will be using VirtualBox Virtual Machine, but the process is similar for any Ubuntu 10.04 desktop. There are two free sources of Java available today. The first is from Oracle, which uses the original source code from Sun. In Sun Java, many claim there are less bugs and seems to be preferred in production environments. It also seems to have better documentation, but it may have licensing issues. The second is OpenJDK, and this is commonly used in Linux distributions. OpenJDK is replacing the privately licensed parts of the Sun JDK with open source code. Sun JDK still has proprietary parts, and so it may perform better in certain areas may believe that the future of Java lies with the open source version. It seems to be preferred in education environments and is a default for Ubuntu install. This demonstration will install the default open JDK in Ubuntu. To install Java with Eclipse IDE, I will be using the Synaptic Package Manager. This allows for a smooth integrated install of both pieces of software without any problems. Do this, we go to System, Administration, Synaptic Package Manager. When the Synaptic Package Manager pops up, we simply type in Eclipse into the search box. And then click on the first Eclipse and mark it for installation. It asks that there are a number of other pieces of software to be installed, and you would just click uh, mark them, and once that has happened, just click Apply, and it will ask for your OK to install 77 new packages with uh, 408 megabytes of extra space storage to be used, and all this will have to be downloaded. It will take a while to download it, but go ahead, just click Apply, and we'll wait for it to finish. It normally takes 5 to 15 minutes to download all the files, but there was no sense in having you watch that. Once the files are downloaded, uh, the program will be installed. Again, we'll have to wait a minute and we'll fast forward to the end of that. So now the pro uh, changes are being applied, programs are being installed, both Java and Eclipse and they'll be integrated also. We'll come back once uh, everything has been installed and just do a simple hello program to make sure that uh, everything works. Now that everything's been installed we can close the changes applied window also, we can close the Synaptic Package Manager. Then now we can go to Applications. We have a Programming. Click on Eclipse. Eclipse will open up. It will ask that you select a workspace. In this case, we're just going to select the default workspace. Click OK. If this is the first time you use Eclipse, this welcome window will come up and it will have some tutorials in it that you can go through. Overview, what's new, samples, tutorials, and the workbench. In this case, we'll just close this and click on File, New, Java Project. 
and we'll call it Hello World. Create a new project in the workspace. Use an execution environment, uh, JRE 1.6. Oh, we're going to use all default settings. Click Finish. And in Hello, Hello World, we're going to add a new class. New class. We'll call it simply Hello World without any spaces. Make sure that we have public static void main. Click, then click Finish. Then we've got this Hello World Java. Just write out system dot out dot print line hello world then run the program to make sure that semicolon then run the program to make sure that everything is working Ask you for select sources to save. In this case, it would be the hello world.java file. Click OK. And here it shows up hello world. So everything's working. And that's all there is to get Java and Eclipse working together in Ubuntu.